So let's take a look at doing some code in this. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and exit Emacs altogether because I'm, well, uh, there's a couple of different ways to do this. Um, I'm going to do control X zero so I get back to having just a single window. And now I want to go and open a file that's in a directory, a couple directories away, right? So one way I could do that is I could do control X, control F, and I could start typing the full file path here. By default, it does this tilde slash. That means it's always going to start in your current directory. I'm currently just in my home directory, hence this. You can actually erase that, and I could start giving it an absolute path, so I could essentially go to any file in the entire system right now. Sometimes you don't have that entire thing memorized, right? It's easier to like browse through the file tree than it is to just immediately know what you need to type in. So if you, well, I'll go back to the default. So if you do Control X, Control F, by default, it's going to give you a prompt for your current folder. If you just hit Enter right now, so essentially, if you open the folder in Emacs, so if you open a directory in Emacs instead of opening a file, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. Um, yours won't have these awkward line wraps because you won't be zoomed in as much. This is essentially the Emacs file browser. So you can open a directory in Emacs, and now you can kind of interactively browse through it. So you can use the arrow key to scroll down to the directory you want. So I created a directory for the lecture tonight called CSFD. So I'm going to move my cursor down to there. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to open up that one. I have one folder inside here. I can hit enter again. One folder inside there. Enter again. And now I could, if I hit enter on either of these files, it'll open them up directly in Emacs. So if you don't want to just type in the entire file path, it's easier for you to browse to a file. You can do that by just opening a directory and you start browsing through the file tree from that point. What was the command back here? Uh, just control X F. If you do control X F and then, so if you don't give it the name of a file here, it's essentially going to open up the directory itself. And then it'll give you what you're looking at now. The dot and the dot dot do the same thing they do always in Linux. The dot dot takes you back up a directory, so I can go back to where I was. The dot refers to the current directory. It's not particularly useful in this context. If you click on it, nothing happens because it's like going into the directory already. Um, 